guys and dolls, so the VMAs kind of coincided with me getting ombre in my hair for the first time, this kind of autumn ombre which I put a video up about the other day and ever since then about 12 or 13 of my um, like most engaged subscribers in my Google Plus list have requested that I do a Nina Dobrev, I think that's how you say her name, uh, makeup tutorial. She's from the Vampire Diaries if you don't know and she always has the most beautiful makeup and sort of really glowy, dewy skin and she looked quite different at the VMAs than she usually does on the shows which is really cool and having been requested I looked up loads of pictures and it looked stunning and um, I know I look nothing like Nina so it's very hard to kind of recreate exactly her look on my face but uh, I went and tried anyway myself and the boyfriend are going on a date later on so I thought I might as well try and do something kind of cool so Basically I had to bronze up my look, um, go with a nice strong red lip and a soft smoky eye. So yeah, if you like chatty get ready with me type videos like I do, then I hope that you enjoy this one because I love nothing more than listening to my favourite YouTubers when I'm getting ready and I know a lot of you guys enjoy my get ready with me videos. So enjoy this one too, <laughs> I guess, I hope. Leave me a comment down below and let me know what you thought of this look on Nina and on me. And yeah, let's get into it now guys. Bye! So guys, we're working with natural light today because all the pictures that I could find of Nina were kind of taken in all different sorts of lighting so I couldn't really get a very general idea of her makeup. I'm basing this on a few pictures which I'll show you here. And if you were wondering why I keep looking over at that direction, it's because I have a big picture of Nina on my laptop so I can kind of refer to that and stuff like that throughout this. Alrighty then, so as you can see right now my skin's natural oils are all starting to come out. Um, I've washed my face a little while ago while I was having a shower and I did my hair in the kind of up style like she has in all her lovely pictures. I've already moisturised and all that jazz so first I'm going to prime my skin. I'm using the Oriflame Perfecting Face Primer. This is just as good as all of the expensive ones. I don't care what they say. Tap some of that on to parts of my face and I'm using quite a good bit just so that my makeup holds in place. Now recently enough my skin has been on the oily side instead of the dry combination acne type side thankfully. Um, I know that's something that a lot of people would normally complain about but I love having my skin nice and dewy and fresh and Nina also has really dewy skin. If you ever look at pictures of her, her skin always looks so dewy and um, without being like oily, it's like a natural kind of glow. For this look I'm going to use the Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation. This is really great for when my skin is particularly oily but keeping the kind of dewy effect. I'm actually applying this with my hands because I've been finding that with this makeup, this is one of my favourite foundations ever, like of all time. and. Um, I actually prefer the look of this when I've either applied it with my hands or a makeup sponge, like a damp makeup sponge, rather than a makeup brush, which I was doing when I first got it, um, you might remember from a couple of my tutorials, um, but I much prefer the finish when I use my fingers or a sponge. A little tip for liquid foundations, because I still have some scarring and hyperpigmentation, when covering of the foundation doesn't often work but I don't like to cake on too much makeup now that I don't really have to. I've got a little bit of excess foundation on my fingertips and I'm just going to pat that in like this. Slap the bass man! <laughs> Thumbs up if you know what that joke's from. Slapping the bass man! Slapping the face man! <laughs> Oh, shut up, Melanie. I don't feel like I need too much more coverage than this, but I'm going to now highlight my face and conceal my very few blemishes that I have. Um, I'm only using this, this is the NARS Creamy Concealer. I'm only using this simply because I want to use it up. Um, not that I don't like this product, I think it's an amazing product, but it's the exact same as the Collection 2000 Concealer to me anyway, and you know, this is so much more expensive. I could get like so many of the other concealers for the price of this one. Anybody got time for that? So um, yeah, I'm just going to highlight along this triangular part of my face and also along there and there and here and then I have a little blemish just there which can feck right off. 
I've got this beautiful soft stipply brush from Fuchsia Cosmetics, an Irish uh, company. Um, MAC have lots of similar brushes to this, but I love this one and you know, support local when you can guys. This is just so beautiful at blending out um, concealer. I just love using it, um, using this or the Collection 2000 concealer. It just gives a really natural finish. So just doing sweepy motions like this. You can see there it blends in like really, really well. It's pretty cool. I would usually use my fingers for this, but this is even more gentle. So soft. Fuchsia really do have some incredible brushes. There we go. And now I need to tan up my face because I'm so much paler than Nina and her look is really bronzy and glowy. So the Honey Bronzer from The Body Shop is one of my all-time faves. It's so good for pale girls. I mean, look at that. Like, it's a really beautiful bronzer. I'm going to sculpt my cheekbones with this and put some um, around various parts of my face. So I'll rub that in there and tap off the excess. So find your cheekbone. It's usually in this line right here where you know where your hairline starts and the tip of your ear kind of thing. And this one just looks really really natural once you kind of blend it in enough. So I'm just going to apply first and then blend it all in afterwards. So I'm pretty much contouring here with this but once I blend it out afterwards it'll just be kind of like a tool to make my face a lot more bronzed and glowy. Do 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 I've got some apples do 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 I've got some do 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 let's sing together. <laughs> um anyway I'm just kind of putting this where the sun would naturally hit so just some random kind of parts of my face, my forehead. You can pretty much use bronzer to like non-surgically transform yourself and it can be a nice little change up. Just do some of that along there. A little bit under here because then any signs of a double chin will just immediately go away. Okay so guys now I'm taking my jumbo buffer and this is also by Fuchsia Cosmetics. Um, amazing Irish brand. Look at this softness of this, it's my favourite brush, um, 100%. So I'm going to buff all of my bronzer out to give my face just a generally more bronze appearance so I look more alive. <laughs> Using the same brush, I'm going to apply a tiny bit of blush. It uh, doesn't look like Nina's wearing very much at all, so I'm taking the Rocketeur by Benefit. This is a beautiful shade, like, look at that. It's absolutely beautiful. I'm taking the tiniest smidge of this. But yeah, Benefit do beautiful blushes, and they smell class. Like, they just smell incredible. Smile. <laughs> Using that same soft blendy brush, I'm taking a little bit of highlighter. I'm using this one. It's in the Soap and Glory Powder Trip Palette, and it's lovely. So I'm just taking a little bit of that on this brush and just a tiny little bit of um, highlight on the tops of my cheekies and on my forehead. On my forehead! <laughs> That gives a really wonderful glow. And now for the moment you've all been waiting for, uh, I'm trying out the new NYX Dewy Finish Long Lasting Setting Spray and I read some kick-ass reviews about these new NYX face setting sprays. I've got quite a few setting sprays actually because I kind of prefer them now to powder but because Nina has such dewy skin I want to definitely go with this and let's see what it does. Right, let's test it first. Wow, wowza! Oh, oh. <laughs> I feel like I've just been hosed down. Okay, so before I go on to my eyes, I'm going to do my lips and I'm just using one product. I'm not using lip liner or lip gloss or anything, keeping this nice and simple. This is the Fuchsia lipstick and it's absolutely gorgeous. Fuchsia, again, is an Irish brand, very, very similar to MAC. Again, it's like MAC's Russian Red. Um, Russian Red would be a really great lipstick to use for this look. And go away shadow. I'm going to try and now zoom in on my lips and just show you this. I've been using lip balm and stuff all day. As you know, I'm obsessed with keeping my lips nice and moisturized. Give me a kiss. Okay guys, so I hope we're in focus enough there. But yeah, I'm just gonna use the sharp point of the lipstick to kind of line in and around the lips and then fill them in. <laughs> Just 
go gently with it. Um, definitely urge you guys to try and invest in good quality lipsticks. They'll hold a lot longer and they'll stay in place a lot longer. And definitely scrub your lips and use balm on any days that you're planning on wearing it because having that nice base there already makes all the difference. Wow, the lighting keeps changing in this room. My home is now Like the MAC lipsticks, these Fuchsia lipsticks have incredible staying power and yeah, I've got nice red lips now for the entire day. Woohoo, lipstick party! Okay, whatever, let's just do the eyes. <laughs> so Nina has the kind of eyebrows that I love, which are really natural looking and as you can probably see by the pictures I showed from the start, I'm going in now with the product that if I could have an affair with a makeup product, I would have an affair with this. It's uh, Benefits Gimme Brow and I'm sure you already know of my Gimme Brow obsession. For the eyes, Nina has an extremely natural smoky eye, so I'm going to zoom right up on my eye and let's do this thing. Okay, very simply for this look, I'm going with the Naked Palette because you guys all know the colours from the Naked Palette if you love watching YouTube tutorials. I'm using a light matte brown, Naked. Then I'm using a little bit of Book, which is also a matte. Then I'm going right down here to Creep. And save for a tiny bit of highlight, that's it. Um, Nina isn't wearing anything very glittery in this look. So first just apply some Naked all over the lid. My love's not Then work some book into the crease, which is the darker matte brown. So I'm going to blend this out with a blending brush now before going in with Creep. This brush is by Blank Canvas Cosmetics. Now take a teensy bit of book under the eye. And now we're going in with Creep. So I'm getting a decent amount of creep there on my little brush and we're going to just pat this on the outer third of the eye so come down here leading up into the crease and then we're going to blend all of that out with the blending brush once again I like to use like real circly fast circling motions with when blending out eyeshadows, it just kind of gets the job done quicker and better. <laughs> so as you can see, this is a really wearable smoky eye look and it's so simple to get the hang of this. Popping a teensy bit of virgin onto my ring finger, I'm just going to tap that along there. Along the eyelid and blend that out a little bit too. Also a little along the brow bone and the inner corner of the eye. Before I move on to the other eye, I'm taking a tiny bit of a black from a little pot for the top eye line, lash line Madugi, and I'm gonna keep this quite smoky so it's not going to be very sharp or anything like that, just literally a little to make the base lashes look thicker. This does not have to be neat at all. And then you can blend that out. It's kind of a very smudgy effect. And already my lashes look so much fuller and thicker. If you'd like, you can go in false lashes, but I'm just going to use some of the Benefit They're Real Mascara because this is a pretty cool mascara and then I don't have to face my arch nemesis, the false lashes, which terrify me so much. The way to get this to work best, I find, is to kind of shimmy it through the lashes and then hold it at the top. That way I get the exact same effect as if I'd used an eyelash curler and I have no time to be faffing around with an eyelash curler as many of you I'm sure don't. While the mascara is wet a great thing to do is just get your finger and hold it like this and it kind of naturally curls them. So now it's time to do the other eyeball. <laughs> so yeah that's the finished look and 
Um, I know this was a very kind of rambly tutorial and I was a little bit over the shop so I hope you liked this. Come say hi on Twitter and Instagram and stuff, let me know what you thought and I'll see you again in my next video but I won't actually see you because my eyeballs can't see through the camera to all the thousands of the peoples. Bye guys.